What's up guys, Eltoro Cards here. Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing a little mail day. Um, I haven't really picked up as much this past week. So I think last mail day video I did, which was, I think it was about three weeks ago, to be honest. I think it was quite a long time. I think it was my big shipment. I'm gonna be getting another big shipment coming through. I believe next Friday, this Friday. I'm not too sure when I'm gonna get it back, but I'm gonna get it back before the Southampton car show, obviously. That's quite a lot of stock in there to sell. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the mail day. So the first card, so we've got a few cards. It's not it's not a lot, it's nothing to you know go well about, but I thought I'd just show you what I've picked up. So the first one was an in-person trade, and this is probably the first in-person trade I've actually done. Obviously not with like Ronnie or LGL, stuff like that, but just a different person on Instagram. And I did, who was it? I think it was London Card Collector. I'll put his Instagram there. Um, he had this um, card that I'm obviously gonna show you on screen in a minute. Um, he had that for, I think, for trade, and I said, what are you interested in? And I realised he was a West Ham fan. Obviously, I'm a West Ham fan. I used to collect West Ham numbered uh, prism cards. Um, I think with Don Rose Select, or, or basically everything West Ham I used to collect. And I thought, I've got no use for them. I'd rather get something that I'd actually enjoy more. Um, I'll probably make another video, maybe, why I don't collect West Ham cards. Uh, but, yeah, no, so done an in-person trade of him sound guy recommend hit him up on instagram um he's doing a story sell most days so could get a cheap deal out of that but yeah so the guy that we did trade for is this mikhail oyazabal from the 2020 mosaic uh euro set obviously he got psa 9 so not the greatest but you can't complain i think psa at least it's not an 8 that's what you say but um yeah white circle really beautiful card i don't think this camera does justice to that uh, as you can tell, it is, I don't know if you can see it on camera, so 23 out of 25. If you know why circles are out of 25. There's one that I really do like. I think it's Phil Phone in the England kit. I think just anyone in that England kit, it looks really nice, obviously white and white. Um, but really beautiful card. So I did trade for this. I think £20 value I had on it. Um, and then £20 valued on the West Ham cards. I think it was just like a bunch of Mark Nobles numbered. Nothing really special, but obviously it's going off to a good home for a West Ham collector. So happy to obviously get this and fit into the PC. So that was a nice pickup that I did get, obviously in person trade, uh, which the first one I've actually done. Second card that we did get is one that I have already, but I thought I'd pick up another one. I think I believe I got this for five pounds. And it's this beauty here. It is Sergio Ramos, World Cup stars uh, from the 2014, obviously World Cup prison from Brazil. Go in set, you can't really go wrong. Um, obviously, Ramos been in the news recently, uh, obviously moving to Sevilla, which obviously is, I keep saying obviously, which is obviously bad. Um, but yeah, going to Sevilla, which is his boyhood club, which I'm very, very happy about. Um, I think he turned down, is it Saudi Row for 25 mil, Galatasaray for 12.5 mil, and he's currently on one million a year at Seville, which I think it's just a magical fairy tale story. Um obviously starting from Sevilla and going to Real Madrid for all them years, going to PSG and then coming back to his boyhood club. So I'm gonna be picking up more of him, always picking up Ramos if you know me, that's my main PC with Paco Ento. But really, really happy to get this. Uh this is out of one one nine nine. Uh so obviously ninety four out of one nine nine. Really really nice card. Obviously I said it again um this is the blue one i really do want to get the red one i think is out of 149 it's a color match looks really nice i've seen one on instagram uh, ebay i think one is 20 pounds which is probably a good price but i don't think i'm going to pick that up now i think i'd rather get other stuff at the moment because i can just pick that up anytime so yeah so they're the two pickups i did from obviously i keep saying it again it's sort of sorry guys um but yeah so they're, they're the two spanish pickups and the other one is sorry for the shout outside as well this video is going amazing but yeah one of them i did get is this beauty here so i've got these two cards i'll put them on screen now um one i think one's out of a cut out magazine or newspaper i literally know nothing about it 
I don't even know if there's a, what a set it is, what year it is. Um, yeah, so pick this up from Last Chancey Cards on Instagram. Lovely guy, Darren. Um, done a few deals with him. I think I mentioned... Um, where else did I pick up? I picked up something else from him. God, what did I pick up? Uh, I think I picked... Yeah, that's it. I picked up a pack of Hento Yellow. I think it was Yellow Bruguera, which I'll put up on screen now. I think it's a 1958 or... 50, yeah, 58 or 57... I know one's yellow and one's green. It's two different years. But yeah, uh, picked this up from him. Done deal with him before. Really, really nice guy. And picked up this Rivera. So this is from the 1960s Um Obviously not his rookie, which I thought it was. Um, his rookie's actually from 1959. So a year before. From the same exact set. Um, but it's, I think it's a blue background. I'll put a picture here as well. It's a blue background. I think it's him in his Italian kit. I'm not too sure what kit it is, but I know it's a blue background. There was one on eBay, an SGC one. Uh, I think it went for about eleven dollars fifty, which I was fuming about because I forgot to put a bid on. It happens. Um, obviously, it wasn't. It was really, really creased. Like this, obviously, you can see a crease there, but it was like creased everywhere. So I don't know if it was a hit, hit and miss. Don't know if it was uh, good that I didn't pick it up, but. Just such a beautiful card. As I said about the Oyaz, about this Rivera, just doesn't ju do it justice. The colours are beautiful. It's just, it's just art. Even like the kit, I think it's quite cool. Uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, Instagram's El Toro Cards. I've, I've got a picture of this um, card, and it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. I made, I made a grey background. Put the card in. Can't go wrong. I don't know why I'm just chatting so much. But um, yeah, next one that we did get, and obviously the last one is the one literally I know nothing about. Uh, even last chance cards, Darren, he didn't know anything. I thought, why not take a punt on it, as it had, you know, iconic players on it. So Martinez and Rivelas, I don't really know much about. Kubala, obviously Ladlo Kubala, Hungarian striker, played for Barcelona, also played for Spain. Um, he's got a statue outside the Camp Nou, uh, Camp Nou so obviously must be a good player. Um, but legend of the game Luis Suarez legend of the game as well for Spain uh, started out in Deportivo La Coruña went to Barcelona and then went to Inter Milan and uh, he won the Bandor and he's the only Spanish player to ever win the Bandor which um, I think is a bit iconic and I've got his rookie as well I think I showed it in the other vid video and then we've got four more players here so we've got Villaverde no nothing about Col and Sivor do not know anything about them so i might have to do my research and see if there's anything interesting but this is obviously interesting but if there's anything about them that i need to know but obviously you've got sandor koshis obviously from hungary as well played with puskas and kubala legendary legendary striker i think he's got one of the most goals in the world cup i think it was i can't remember actually i I might put the statistic up here if I can remember. But yeah, so I picked this up. Uh, done quite a good deal on both of these. I'm happy I picked this up, especially this Rivera. I might be picking up more cards from him, um, obviously Darren. But we'll see, obviously, how it goes. But they're obviously my pickups for, I'd say, the three, two, three weeks uh, that I've been buying. Obviously, there's not a lot, but... Yeah, just uh, uh, most literally most of my cars that I buy are literally in America, so that will be coming back. Um, but yeah, just want to let you guys, uh, guys know what do you think about me doing some shorts? Some um, obviously shorts videos, I think that's what it's called. I think it's YouTube shorts. Uh, what do you think about me doing that? Maybe like how to crack a PSA slab, some recent PSA subs, some mail Mondays to doing shorts, and uh, obviously a lot of people do like short snappy videos obviously not like this I think, yeah this is going on for nine minutes so not like this but obviously